This is Tom Gleason. He's a comedian from the TV and the radio and stuff. Please welcome him. All right. Hello. Good evening. Oh, it's not the evening. It isn't. It is. No. Uh, it's sweltering. Does anyone know the temperature at the moment? It's thirty-seven. It's stupid, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah, very hot. So, hey, man, you, you've uh, this is this has been your home for the last five years, yeah. but not this year. You upgraded, yeah, which is awesome. Uh, but uh, welcome home. Thank you. You mean the Rhino Room, yeah? Yes. Yeah, yeah I've moved down to the gardens mm. because they've got bigger venues, and if you've got bigger venues, more people go, and uh, they. Like they all pay the same amount individually, but mm. you add it all together, and it means that I earn a lot more cash. And that's what it's oh, about. and uh, and and I'm into the arts. <laughs> Sorry, I forgot. Like I, I like to, you know, I like yeah, to be right. creative. I like to all do a new that. show, yeah. and it's a fringe, and I like to extend myself creatively to get the cash. To get the cash. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. people love creativity. They pay oh, for yeah. it. Though they pay through they, the nose for it, as it turns they out. They pay That's for a lot of shit too. Yeah, I know. Like I've seen some stuff in the garden, <laughs> and uh, I'm one of them. Right. Uh, so uh, how, how, like you, you had like a, a ridiculous kind of couple of years where mm. you went from being one of the most respected comics in Australia, but that nobody knew. Yeah. all of a sudden being everywhere yeah I know I, it's like I feel like it started in Adelaide actually because the first time I did the fringe was 2006 mm -hmm. and before that I'd done a sketch on Channel 10 called Skit House where I was the Australian fast bowler so I kind of well, still going to that well are you yeah well they were like, oh look that's it's that guy it's the skit <laughs> guy that's what you used to you know you, you know people yell out of moving cars it's the skit guy <laughs> look oh, nothing sus yeah. <laughs> and then here, yeah. uh, in 2006, I feel like I established me. Like mm. I actually did shows as myself, and it was in Adelaide where people kind of got onto that sort of, you know, train of thought first. And I feel like people just, I don't know, they just got me here. Mm. And so, yeah, it's been, I feel like it, I grew it from here out to everyone else finally getting the joke. Yeah, nice. And uh, there was a Red Rooster ad, which obviously did wonders for you as well. Yeah, uh, did yeah, you sell a Holden at some point? No, I haven't sold a Holden. You're I bought a Holden, actually. I've, oh, that's yeah. right. Yeah, I just bought one, and yeah, I have no affiliation with Holden. That sucks. Except that I own one, like a normal person. <laughs> How dare you? Oh, imagine being a normal person. I'm right. so glad I'm a celebrity. <laughs> Life's easier. And so now, but now, like you've you've gone to the point where you're almost like a recluse. You you've kind of bought a farm, and <laughs> you went back to where yeah. you came. I hate my audience. Yeah, I, I just like them to pay to see me and, and I perform to them for one hour. And only. then I just disappear. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I give them one hour of my time, and that's all you get. You're lucky you're getting this right now. <laughs> a little bit of bonus Gleason. Yeah, yeah, a little bit extra. Uh, so, so tell us about your show this year. What is it about and stuff? Uh, you know, I sort of rip through the news. I always enjoy doing that. There's always a lot on. There always seems to be something going on. And uh, I've become a father for the first time, so that hey. gets a mention. Nice. And uh, and I talk about my um, my mother did stand up, uh, which sort of came out of nowhere. So wow. I sort of tell a story about that. Mama Gleason. Yeah, yeah. But I don't want to go into it too much because okay. that's kind of the show. Uh, can't you just do like an abridged version now for free? <laughs> no. <laughs> okay. No, because it, it might end up on the net. Well, that's oh, true. No. <laughs> what if we uh, we put the clamshell around and see if we can get some yeah. cash? No, let's not do that. Uh, cool. So, um, how are you finding the garden? Like, because Rhino Room is like um, it, we have kind of comedy here during the year and stuff as well, and so yeah. it's uh, it's perfectly kind of set up for that, and a lot of people really like performing here. The garden is like a different beast altogether for as a performer. Yeah, you get a few more people in the audience that are, how can I put this politely, <laughs> speculative. Oh, it's very polite. They're just sort of, you know, they're like, oh, maybe this will be good, mm. you know. And so you get, well, you get more people that are thick, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> <laughs> they're just like, oh, we'll see that. So, you know, but luckily, uh, luckily they, I'm so mainstream the that they still enjoy it anyway. <laughs> <laughs> awesome work. Uh, and uh, are you eating food in the garden, or are you are you are you now to the point where you're one of those guys who come and has dinner beforehand, comes to the show, and then goes home and has tea and goes to bed? Yeah, I'm very I'm very boring because my wife's here and my baby's here and my dog's oh. here, and we uh, eat at home and then I go out and do my show. Do you work? No you... corn cobs for me. None. No, no, I don't any. I don't need oh, any man. carny food. This because a couple of years ago you came over and you had to bring your dog, right? Yeah. You drove over in your hold, and that's why I remember it was yeah, hold, yeah. because you had to bring your dog while your wife flew over. Yes, and that happened again. I had to drive over with the dog, and uh, I get to drive the dog across, and uh, my wife she flies with the baby. 
who runs this family? Is it the dog? Like, <laughs> the dog calls Jason. all the shots. Okay. <laughs> Hello? The chat room would like to know what type of dog it is. Ah. Wow, the chat room is weird. Okay. <laughs> What no, it's the internet, you know, they're obsessed with dogs okay. and cats. And, yeah. It's you your dog who's watching it. Yeah. <laughs> 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 don't dog me. Don't dog me. Do you have a picture of your dog on your phone that you could show uh, the internet? Oh, no, I don't. Oh. Uh, the, uh, the dog is, um, the dog's name is, it's a Cavalier King Charles Spaniel. Oh my God. Do you have, does it have a ribbon in its hair? No, it is, it is a, uh, yeah, it's, um. <laughs> so it's a sock puppet then, not a dog. <laughs> oh, is that what someone said? <laughs> <laughs> yes, me. No, it's not. Oh, right. <laughs> you said it with your mouth. God, right, sorry. This, struggling with this online concept. Um, <laughs> and um, it's, well, the dog's name is Poppy as well, but my wife named it. And yeah. it's got her surname, not mine. It's, its name is Poppy Parker. Oh, that's, a, that's actually a pretty cool name. Yeah, it's pretty hard for me, though, because I grew up on a farm. Yeah. So for me. That is like, you know, dogs are more like, get out of here, you bloody mongrel. Yeah. You know, they're not like, oh, but did, did you Poppy. have <laughs> Poppy. <laughs> when did it's you... cold, she wears a jumper. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's... And, and it now lives on a farm, running around in a jumper. Yeah, pretty much, in a jumper. Yeah, it's, it's the laughing stock of the town. <laughs> I can imagine. I can't, I can't round up jack shit. I, no, not even Jack you Russell go, shit. Go on, get it, go. It just does nothing. It just sort of its back legs go loose, and it just waits till you rub its tummy. <laughs> <laughs> so growing up, because you grew up on a farm, you yeah. would have had like a. Did you have like? Do you raise a cow? And did you have like weird pets? <laughs> did I raise a cow. No, because my fiance grew up on a farm, okay. and she raised a cow, and then they oh, ate it. Oh, I see what you're saying. No, no, no. We grew up on a proper farm, and <laughs> uh, <laughs> my father bought and sold cattle for profit. Oh. It's called farming. Interesting. <laughs> we didn't like. I never understood why people had hobby farms. You know, you hear about hobby mm. farms. We never had a hobby office where we went on weekends <laughs> to do photocopying. You know, a farm was a source of income for but us. You, you didn't it get was to have a like source a of a lot of money, but it was also quite depressing because droughts actually meant something. Okay, so maybe this is not the best line of questioning oh. to go down. No, no, no. It's <laughs> fine. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm okay. All right. I uh, escaped. I moved off into an industry that's far more reliable the entertainment Ooh. industry where everything works out all the time yeah yeah <laughs> so uh speaking of i suppose we should ask you both this question how's yes. good news week going <laughs> or good news good, good news what is it good news world good good news week uh, good news world was it was an offshoot of good news Week. yes yeah. um which was which was a series we did at the end of last year it's good fun but it's not really going anywhere in the sense that yeah um, it's, we're still it's, waiting for the call that it's back on again that's one of the joys of the entertainment industry and working in tv that not many people know about the good thing is about, for you, ordinary people in the real world, <laughs> is that when you get fired, you know about it. When we get fired... People just you stop just, talking. You just end up not going back to that show ever again. And you're just walking down the street six months later going, Oh, man, I haven't been back there for a while. <laughs> and, and there's no money in my bank account. Yeah, like, what happened? <laughs> I must be fired. Ah, oh, what a shame. <laughs> so, but you so, get over it pretty quick. <laughs> Obviously, you're not bitter at all. No. That's good. All right. So no, it was uh, a good fun show to do, Good News World. It was just trying something different. Mm. There are a lot of people who are upset about it, but when they, when they said they didn't like it, essentially they were just upset that, that it, wasn't, it wasn't Good News yeah. Week. I mean, that's just like, you know, getting upset at, you know, eating a banana because you wanted an apple. And it's kind of like saying, you know, oh, I like this last Seth Rogen movie, but I hate this new Seth Rogen movie because it's not the same as the Seth Rogen movie I like. Yeah, and then, I mean, it was either going to be that or you'd be doing Good News Week still and people would be complaining that it was the same old shit. Yeah. So we were kind of trying to do something yeah. new. But the end result is, I think it might have run its course. I think. Sweet. Who knows? Is my phone on? <laughs> no, it could ring. Hello? Oh, it's back on. Not leave. Bye. That'd be great. Inter <laughs> I've only had exclusive. A, like, a, you know, limited experience in commercial TV, but it is, you know, even that show, Good News World, got up with like a couple of weeks' notice. Like, it, yeah. it's a, the production companies can do everything they want, but it's all about the networks, the head honchos, and they just decide they want something like that. They push a button and it has to happen. So Yeah. I've got a tasty bit of trivia for you, actually. Oh, yes. That is that um, when Good News Week came back, remember it had an eight year break mm. and it was on 10 in 2000, went away, came back in 2008. When that show came back on air, from the first phone call from Channel 10 to say, we want the show back to the on air, it was like two weeks. Wow. They rang the production company, can we have Good News Week back? And they're like, oh! and they had to build the set and everything yeah, in two say. weeks on air. Yep. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, let's get the band back together. That was because like the writer's strike, right? There That's was right, a, yeah, the writer's strike. In yeah. America, and yeah. so we didn't have anything. Had to fill a hole. Yeah. Quick smart. <laughs> That's a hole. <laughs> Sorry, we're being filmed for the online yeah, yeah. trying to make it Gotta visual. Gotta be visual. Yeah. And that apparently is a hole. Hole. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you've got a couple of games to choose from. Oh, great. Uh, what do we have left? We have uh, Ski Pong or Chocolate Stab. 
Uh, I'll go for chocolate stab. Okay, they always got to get the chocolate. We, we, oh, uh, no, I so, it, oh. no, 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 it's, it's, it's actually chocolate, it's good. Right. You might have played this game again uh, when you were little growing up, okay. um, where you've got to eat chocolate with a knife and fork. Oh, okay, uh, yep. And it's called chocolate stab because it works better if you stab it, just just quietly. That's, oh, okay. a, that's a little tasty trivia hint for you. Okay, yep. uh, no so allergies or anything? You're, oh, yeah, you're allergic to... No, 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 to, I'm fine. Okay, because yeah. apparently I think it's fruit and nut chocolate, yeah. so... Oh, the only problem is I'm allergic to stunts. <laughs> okay. well, that's all right because only <laughs> I don't think you'll get to the end of this and go that was that's successful right. no, so okay. we'll be fine okay. okay so your job is just to eat as many as you can so all you have to do is uh, we're not doing the dice anymore are we that was boring you're talking to me yeah uh, yeah I wasn't paying attention then oh <laughs> what were you doing were you on your Facebook <laughs> yeah he, he doesn't do anything all right so uh, yes so uh, have you ever played this before do you no, play this? I've never played I used this. to play this at school all the time whenever like end of term and mm. then the, the parents uh, the teachers are like oh just Let's do this. Yeah, and okay. then, yeah, had no idea. So, you've just got to eat chocolate with a knife and fork. You okay. can't start cutting the next one until you've eaten, eaten the first, the one in your mouth. Oh, okay. Do okay. I get a glass of milk? What? You want a story well, as well? No, it would just help. I'm just saying that uh, they go together well. Maybe a cup of tea. That's normally what I have with chocolate. I'm just saying oh. it would help. And your time starts. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you ready? Yep. Your time starts now. I get to plug your show. Oh, good work. I don't know how I did that. <laughs> went straight in. <laughs> I didn't think that was going to work. No, I thought I'd that throw was it way better. My face. Don't tortoise in the head. Oh, can't cut it. You can't cut it. You don't. Dude, this is where I really need a cup of tea. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Tom's show is called. Uh, what is it called? Get it, India. Good one. Good one. Uh, it's on till the 18th of March. So the whole run of the fringe. Oh, one at a time, you pig. Oh, okay. One at a time. Oh. 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 Scoop oh. it. Scoop oh. it. No. And that's why we call it Chocolate Stack. Right. Very uh, good. It's under the Hunting Lodge, which is a great new venue in the garden. Um, what time? Six o'clock? No. 8.45. Uh, 8.45. Okay. You're 15 seconds. You're at two. Okay. So, yeah, just pop that one in. I'm at Ten, one and a half. Nine. I think a lot of people are just going to end up cheating and just eating chocolate. Oh, yeah, yeah, six, I reckon. You what? Six? Okay. Mm. Oh, you've given up. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> Sweet. All right, well that was fun, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, it was good. Yeah, owe me 30 cents for the chocolate. I'm looking forward to when it, <laughs> when it boils outside in 37 degrees. Mm. Oh yeah, mm. good stuff. Is there anything else you want to give a plug about or anything before we let you go? I, despite appearances, mm -hmm. am surprisingly active online. Okay. <laughs> people look at me and think that I wouldn't know what a computer is because I look like people's dad. But, I, um, <laughs> but I'm well, on Facebook like... and Twitter, so say yeah, yeah. good day. Okay, do you want to plug it? No, like either at Tom No, Wilson? I trust that they can do a word, okay. you know, a Google search, or whatever. A, just a Twitter, word, Facebook, Tom a word Wilson, find, a word, a word find thing. <laughs> okay. No ping away. Ping yeah, yeah, ping, ping's a thing. Ping a thing. Yeah, they cache something. All right, mm. Alta, so, Vista. <laughs> mm. Alta Vista. I oh, don't go to at don't go to that one. Go to mine. That's one. not even a thing. <laughs> we oh, don't even it? have a Twitter. Oh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> what? what? No, what I, I use mine because I want to like coerce everyone that lists watch the show to follow me on Twitter. All right, well, go to my uh, go to my Twitter. It's probably easier to find because I'd have way more followers. Yeah, than yeah, you. yeah, absolutely. And then I can I can ping a bit of action your yeah, way. Yeah, ping. Is pinging ping a me? Thing? Yeah, okay, absolutely. Thanks. Forward him. Uh, for, yeah, can you, I forward? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Uh, Tom Gleason show. Oh, get it on. Good one. Good, Good one. Fine. I should really know this. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Tom Gleason. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not, by the way, I'm not at T. Gleeman, okay, that was not, I'll tell you, it's non-stop time is what it is. There we go. I really thought this yeah. interview was over. Yeah, sorry. Is it still going? Yeah, it is now, but Maz? we can, uh, but round of applause for Jason Want to fix Tom. that? Don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> Please go to an ad break. All right. <laughs>